Hi there. Welcome. As you may be aware, S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management can be deployed both embedded as part of your overall S4 HANA Enterprise Management solution. Or alternatively, decentralized on a separate instance, connected to either your S4 HANA or existing legacy SAP ECC solution. In this video, we will discuss typical drivers for one option over the other. This video presents a high-level and generic overview of reasons to choose between two deployment options. What is right for your customer or your organization will require a detailed analysis where the specifics for you will need to be considered. Our hope is that this video will provide information that will make it easier for you to make the right choices and priorities. To keep yourself updated on the latest details, we strongly recommend you to keep an eye on SAP Note 2840129. Make it a favorite. The note contains among other things an attachment that in details explain the key differences between the different deployment options of SAP EWM. Please be aware that this document is updated regularly. We will now discuss 11 different drivers that may lead you to conclude on one of the two options, embedded EWM or decentralized EWM. Let us move on. Driver number one. If you have more than one ERP system, both SAP ERP or non-SAP ERP and wanted to connect them to the same instance of EWM, decentralized would be your option. In fact, this cannot be done with embedded EWM, leaving you with no choice other than embracing the decentralized option. Driver number two. Many organizations may see themselves in a situation where they, as part of their S4 HANA transition will be running legacy ECC and S4 HANA at the same time. This may lead to the requirement to connect both ECC and S4 HANA ERP to the same EWM system, at the same time. If that's the case, the decentralized option is the only option. In fact, many organizations see this as an opportunity to make a head start on their S4 HANA journey, getting the benefits of EWM early, and reducing the risk and complexity of the overall S4 HANA transformation. Driver number three. If integration is a major concern for you, you would probably prefer to run EWM embedded. Since no data needs to be moved between instances, you could say that the embedded option provides both a tighter and easier integration, at least from a technical perspective. Number 4. Since embedded EWM runs completely, yes, embedded, in your S4 HANA system, most people would argue it represents the best solution, if a simplified system landscape is one of your priorities. Number 5. In EWM, we distinguish between basic and advanced functionality. If your functional requirements are modest, on par with what is currently available in ERP WM, basic EWM would suffice, and you would probably conclude on the embedded deployment option. Number 6. As you may already have seen, in the note mentioned earlier, there are minor functional differences between the two deployment options. This may change with future releases, so please keep an eye on any update. What the right choice is, depends naturally on your actual requirements. If we had to declare a winner, the decentralized option would probably be the one. Driver number 7. For some organizations having the maximum flexibility to upgrade and add functionality, independently of the maintenance schedule of the corporate ERP system may bring additional value. With S4 HANA EWM, SAP is providing two feature packs per the yearly main release cycle. If the flexibility to adapt these features quickly is a priority, the decentralized option would probably be your choice. Number 8. In case you run your warehouse 24-7, your requirements for uptime and your flexibility regarding maintenance windows may differ from the rest of your organization. If that is the case, the decentralized option may yet again be your favorite. Driver number 9. If you run high-volume operations, and with high volumes, we are thinking of order lines in the hundreds of thousands per day, once again, the decentralized option may be the winner. In a decentralized environment, it is most likely easier to ensure that no other business operations are influencing system performance negatively. Number 10. Warehouse automation comes in many shapes and forms. EWM provides an open and standardized approach for integration to a wide range of warehouse control systems. Successful operations depend among other things on factors such as network latency and the inbuilt capability of the equipment. Traditionally, warehouse automation has been a driver for the decentralized deployment of EWM. Finally, driver number 11. If you plan to use EWM in supporting a production warehouse, embedded deployment may be the best choice. 
This is driven both by some detailed functional requirements as well as the obvious benefits of having very tight integration with production planning in S4 HANA. We do hope you like this high-level generic overview of drivers regarding the deployment options for S4 HANA EWM. Please remember that there is no rule without exceptions and that, like in life itself, making up your own mind is normally helpful. Please be aware that this video does not represent the official view of either SAP or any other organization. Before we end this video we would like to address a commonly asked question. Can I go back? Let's assume you have implemented decentralized EWM and now wants to change to embedded. Can you do it? The short answer is yes. And organizations that have done it, already exist. They use decentralized as a step towards their target architecture, EWM embedded. The other way around. Nothing is impossible, but this represents a slightly bumpier road. You can do it, but effort would be higher. One more thing. Did we forget something? Shouldn't cloud versus on-premise have been on the list of drivers? We don't think so. One may argue that organizations with basic warehouse requirements are more likely to deploy in the cloud. Not sure if that is true. Since EWM can be deployed with the same level of functionality both on-premise and in a single tenant-slash-private cloud, the version that is officially called S4 HANA Cloud Extended Edition. It supports the same extension framework as on-premise, and we honestly think the same 11 drivers apply for a technical deployment in the cloud versus on-premise. Speaking about cloud. As part of S4 HANA Cloud Essential Edition, SAP is offering S4 HANA Cloud Warehouse Management. That is probably a topic in itself, for another video. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.